Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and this is a Burton Skipjack Surf, a POW deck for intermediate to advanced level riders that want another board for their quiver. Because of the flail flex and the traction pads, you can ride this board without bindings in really deep snow. I love the Skipjack Surf because it has a lot of surface area, even though it's really short. It's a directional shape, obviously. It has 20 millimeters of taper. The nose at the contact points is ultra wide. And notice how it doesn't really scoop up a lot. This thing skims across the top of the snow. Um, it features a directional flat top profile shape. Basically underneath and in between the feet, the board is flat with a little bit of rocker on that nose. Um, on groomers, can you still ride it? Yeah, of course, but it may not perform as the way that like a traditional camper board would by any means. The nose may feel a little bit uh, bobbly and wobbly. Overall, uh, the Family Tree Skipjack will have a flex rating of about a four, a little bit softer than average. Bruton says it's a little bit stiffer, but overall I feel the feel is gonna be softer because of this really, really short tail. It's easy to kick around. It's a perfect board for getting into the trees. Um, I've been able to ride this board at Copper a lot. For some reason, I love Copper trees and uh, it does a really good job at it. The base graphic is awesome. It's done by Blotto and then there's coordinates to where the actual picture was shot. I love how uh, Blotto and Burton teamed up to do that and they've done that kind of across the family tree line for this season. Um, there's a huge setback stance and again it does feature flay of flex. The board's uh, profile has been like kind of cord and really really thin allowing it to flex well but because it's so thin the channel system uh, mounting or the channel mounting system needs to be a certain thickness in order to work. So in, to make up for that lost space, they actually put these traction pads there as well. You can also find flail flex on boards like the Freestyle Name Dropper as well. Inside of uh, the Skipjack Surf is a uh, Superfly 2 Dual Zone EGD wood core. Lots of different laminates inside here um, that have a Triax fiberglass wrapped around it. Um, it is pretty springy and poppy um, for a flex rating board of about a four, which is kind of a cool combination. Um, on the base, again, you'll see that awesome graphic by Blotto. It's a recycled sintered WFO base. It absorbs tons of wax. If you ever see kind of like grayish areas along those edges, make sure to keep it maintained and waxed up. And then there's that standard 360 steel edge wrap. I love the little dip of a swallow tail. The tail kind of kicks up just slightly, but again, um, if you're like surfing around a bunch, um, you're gonna love this thing because of that short tail, big scooping nose. This is the Skipjack Surf from Burton, and of course you can check it out at thehouse.com. Subscribe to the channel, watch more videos, and leave a question if you want to. Thanks so much, peace.